Good morning everyone, it's still early morning and we are still sleepy but we've got to cook. So what are you going to make today? So I'm gonna make some stick with chip, chip meat. Yeah, so because I was so, so about how to make chip meat uh, better. Uh, I try to make uh, pineapple juice but with the skin it. The skin. So you're gonna juice a whole pineapple without peeling it? Yeah, that's true. And after that I will we'll leave the meat maybe because we are running out of time maybe 30, min 30 minutes or uh, 45 minutes. So you're gonna marinate the meat with a yeah, pineapple juice? Yeah, so uh, I th it will make the meat more tender All right. and juicy. All right. Yeah, and I hope it will work. Let's see. Let's yeah. blend this pineapple up. So let's see what can this blender. This one has like 500 watt, watt of power. So it must be very powerful. I know. That's so powerful. It just blends very quickly. This will make it. So where's the meat? So this is meat. It looks it's not for stick. It's that actually like it's really cheap one and maybe we can use it for soup. Yeah, we and usually it, use that part for soup, not for steak. And no, and you know this one is not having any marbling, almost no marbling at all. No marbling. And it's all whole meat. I know, this one is like, it's, I don't know if it's tender or not, but yeah, usually even, even though like you using it for soup, it will be not, not really tender, it's just like chewy to chewy mm -hmm. yeah. so we're gonna use the pineapple to tenderize this yeah let's see maybe we 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 try 30 minutes this time because this yeah that's small yeah, i think we small. we are not we do not need more time to yeah, tenderize it. Pour it okay i think we we made too much so we got like got potato so you have potato bell paper bell paper and Carrots. And carrots. You say we, we have some peas or something. Oh yeah, we but don't we have, have peas. Yeah, so I will put this uh, in the rice cooker because we forgot to buy rice. Right. That's why this is like our main carbohydrates for today. So yeah, it's healthy, right? <laughs> so you're gonna cook them in the rice cooker? Yeah. So like last time, uh, rice is made gadu gadu so I will also use the same method that with less vegetables of course mm -hmm. yeah but it will be like a uh, nice element to add with the meat because uh, it will be like complementary flavor to meat and I hope this one is sweet enough if not I will make some sauce Put all the potatoes here. Are you going to cook the bell pepper or no? Uh, actually, I intend to cook it, but what do you think? I you think, think it's better. We are not steaming it, we are just uh, not frying. Yeah, what do you do? Like, like steam fry? I uh, know, just just heat it up. Yeah, on a pan, not okay. steaming it. I agree with you with that. So, do we need some more vegetables? Or this one is. But just... we don't have. Do we have? Okay. Okay. It's so 
we steam it here so from our experience if you have this cosmos rice cooker if you want to steam don't use the steamer steam because it's it takes a lot of time i to know to cook. i know they didn't even they didn't even boil the water if you use exactly. steam mode and it sucks even when we gonna make a soup we can't use soup yeah yeah the only menu that is functioning is this one yeah the cook rice we don't know about kick because we we never try that I, we never try yeah, that yeah we'll try that next time maybe but maybe we'll going back to the hmm. cook rice again so press menu to cook rice and press start here okay it started Okay, so we already leave it here for 30 minutes or more. We actually so, have already set it for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, really? Yeah. Yeah, it should be like tenderized. Whoa. I think it's already tender now. And now, and we're gonna wash it mm -hmm. and uh, make it a little bit dry. And after that, put it in a pan. Okay? Okay. Yeah, it's become looks really tender. Because I forgot, but actually, uh, pineapple has the enzyme that can tenderize the meat. It's maybe uh, in traditional Indonesian food, we usually like having like papaya leaves. Yeah. Yeah, and this one is. Really it's more convenient because we can find a lot of pineapple everywhere but it is much tender now yeah it's very soft very soft right mm -hmm. and, uh, let's see how, how it will go in the pan and so we are drying the meat yeah, we will try. and remove all the water before we are sizzling, sizzling it so on the pan, on the pan. Why do you put the garlic on the pan? I don't know because like a lot of chef doing that. <laughs> okay. and I don't know, maybe can we add more pepper? Because like maybe the westerner like a subtle flavor of the garlic, subtle flavor of the other ingredients not too strong. Well we are usually just planning to make it really strong garlic taste. And we were gonna use it for making the sauce next. The one is hard because of the meat itself. But the other one is very tender, like it almost falls apart. Yeah, this one is very tender. This one is still soft. But we will see, we will cut it after this. Mm -hmm. This 
it's not a sticky stick in out actually but yeah this is what all we have now in our fridge mm -hmm. so let's give us so now what are we making uh, we're gonna make some sauce the sauce of for yeah, yeah what are these made of we do like the like, garlic before and the onion and uh, tomato yeah. yeah so this is like incorporated sauce with all we have because we don't have any uh many ingredients here and we just put it like this okay. okay. garlic uh, yeah. onion tomato the salt and salt salt and pepper yeah Add some water in it. So we're wiping the meat. Right? Add some. Because and we like we love spice. It's not spicy, but it's sweet and spicy. Okay. Chili flakes. Chili flakes. So you add water, sweet soy sauce, so and chili flakes. flakes. And I just add this a bit of sesame oil. So we are going to cut the meat because yeah. we don't have knife for yeah. eating. <laughs> we only have one knife that is working properly so we're gonna cut them first it's really dark Oops. yeah that one is really hard I can see it is so hard even when it's cut by sharp knife yeah. because it's not a steak meat so this one is for soup and even for soup it will be out for soup It's like rubber Yeah, oh but this one is a little bit tender Oh that part? Yeah Oh there are, there are some parts that's tender, there are some parts that's so hard yeah. Because they have a lot of muscle here yeah, so it's not fat, but it's muscle. That's the problem. The fat will make the, the meat like more flavorful and like more juicy. But uh, what is the muscles now? So that's why. So this one actually is also not for stick. That's why it's really hard to cook it. You can see here is. We make it like medium raw here. Yeah, but this one is tender. That one is very tender. Yeah. And it just falls apart. It just yeah. falls apart when we cook it. I think because it is the effect of marinate, marinate them in the pineapple, pineapple juice. Yeah. Really before we marinate them, it's just all talk. I don't think it's edible if we cook it uh, as a stick. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if the theory about the pineapple is true. And yeah. Maybe we, we can choose a better cup next time. Mm -hmm. and try it. And make another one. Yeah. Make another proper one. Yeah, proper stick. Yeah. We got the meat, we got the sauce here. Because we don't have any maizena, we can make it like more sticky. But this one is really good sauce. You should try it. Oh, I'm drawing.
And for the last step, we gonna cook or fry the bell pepper. Very quick, because we are not going to, to fry them until dry. We just want to make it a bit soft and produce the taste better. So this is it guys, what we have for today's meal and here we have potato, carrot, bell pepper, beef steak, fake beef steak probably, <laughs> and this is the sauce. Let's enjoy. So today is the 11th of September 2019 and my body weight today is 57.3 and my body fat today is 16.8 it's a really really good progress and I'm happy with the result <laughs>